Hi guys, what I want to show you here is how to put wires on rings and pendants and earrings, how to implement it, so how to cut it, how to start. the work that I did. So these are wires, the way you put it, and then these wires are hard and steady, they don't come out. When you take it to uh, the caster, it will put in a cast and then it will cast it, it will come out like this with wires on, right? So I want to show you how you do two different kinds of wires. Here we go. So I will take my um, bead, the tapered uh, filing bead, and I would put a notch like that, and then make it just a little bit wide because the wire is thicker than then the groove and then I can do two for you guys and to see two samples and then just to, because it's tapered like that so I have those two grooves there and then what I want to do is I want to change it into a round circular bit and then I want to put like one pretty pretty good deep round point and there another one okay so, so now what, what I want to show you guys how to cut the wires and then um, depending on the length that you are working on what you're working on but this is a little sample for you guys to see how it's made because this is how um, you can do a really good job fast quick beautiful wire soldering work on your wax designs and here we go I'm gonna demonstrate how I cut it and how I do it so I'm gonna use my knife that I've made a video how to make this knife which is making handmade jewelry wax carving knife made for detail work that's the video um, i use this knife to cut one two and three and four So now I take and place it to the groove that I made, right? And I take another one and I place it into the hole that I made. Now I have these two wires here and I'm going to show you guys these other wires how. So now I have those two wires in place, I'm going to show you guys how you attach like permanently attach to the wax so I use crazy glue and I get a little bit of it on a tip of this bead like that and apply it from the side like that okay and I get a little bit more for here and apply it to this one here sitting on top make sure it's straight this is not an easy work this is very tedious work you have to have lots of patience to get this right okay got it so one way you can do it this way another way I'm gonna show you guys how to like apply it apply the crazy glue before putting it on so another way is you get a little bit of glue here like that by experience you're gonna learn how to how much you to use but like a little bit would do it and then if you have extra opening grooves there, 
what you do is Those like extra areas what you do is you go back and once it's dry you look at it you can apply just a little bit more to fill up with the glue over there once it's dry then your casting comes in with no opening uh, grooves on the side uh, in the back whatever you know you can fill up with crazy glue you can ap apply it one more time and if you need to three times you can just put a little tap and that will cover those areas so another another way to do is you can put a little bit on the tip and you can come in and you can just push it in this little hole like that and then give it a little push make sure this is straight was very good so this is how you do this and then look at this ones previously made they don't they're they don't come out they're just sitting there right so this is how you put uh, wires on your wax design and there are a lot of other, other techniques eventually i'll make other videos to show you how you implement and you uh, attach uh, different ways wires and everything the, the technique and the trick is to have somewhere to grab this wire which is the groove or the hole or some kind of carving where you're going to put the hole of wire that's where you need that carving so the it doesn't uh, reattach if if i don't if you don't put a hole like i did um on the surface it would want to just come off this is crazy i'm gonna wait for the ambulance to pass so the technique is how to uh, make make this permanently attached so when you're doing the casting it won't uh, come off what you want to do is you want to make sure you want to put a hole a little bit deep so it attached to it really 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 strong and it won't come off and you have to put a groove anywhere any shape you have to make sure the same width of your wire has a groove so it will attach to that groove and then make sure you use crazy glue and then make sure your crazy glue is not a lot it's it's not overly um uh runny and you can you can go back and implement a little bit more if you need to apply a little more to make it all like nice and clean and like looks like solder um when you do jewelry work same like that so what i'm using is your typical crazy glue and this is super glue and uh, any of the super glues work fine just make sure you don't apply too much what you, uh, two ways you can do is you can how i did it using from the tube or you can put a little dot of glue and where you can take your little uh, wires wax wires and then uh, get some little bit of glue from there and then apply it wherever you're uh, putting uh, mounting that little wires so one other tip is when your tweezer gets uh, sticky a lot of times it gets sticky because those waxes they get warm hot from your hand, finger fingers and uh, and what you want to do is like you want to tap put, put your tweezer in a white just your typical baby powder and then just uh, tap it let it come the extra uh, ex excess out and then just it's it's not gonna uh, grab any longer once you do that so that way uh, you have to use that kind of method i want to show you guys another uh, technique how you can implement uh, these wires i'm going to use this round bit and i want to go just like uh, that, like that. Make sure I want to pass again. So as, as you see here, as you can see, it, I have a shape so you just take from one side actually I want to shape it a little bit like the way it is approximate right this is gonna make it easier
just gently push on it shape it gently press on it like that and we can hold this wire and cut the excess out like that And the excess out so I want to take this crazy glue and implement it make sure you don't use a lot of it you can help it like that There you go. So sometimes it gets too much. What you want to do is get a napkin and just like take some of it out, like with doing that. That's it. So that's another technique. When when sometimes it gets too runny, too much glue, uh, you you don't know how to clean it. You just you just take a little bit of napkin and then just implement it. Let it soak in and then you have less glue and then you don't have that that uh heavy um you know like everywhere glue then you want to spend a lot of time cleaning uh, on the gold or silver so this is another way of tracing a wire on, on your ring pendant earrings whatever you're making working on so this is another uh technique um i think uh, this video is about done here um if you guys have any questions please uh, don't forget to leave comments down below i'll uh, try to um, answer you guys uh, whatever you have any questions about and i hope this video brought you um, value and uh, thank you so much for watching i appreciate it